Hello everyone, I'm Guo Feng Zhang, an undergraduate student in Structures Computer Interaction Lab at UCLA. Today I'm going to present deep CNN based robotic multi class under canopy weed control in precision farming. In agriculture, weeds are the biggest headache of farmers as they compete with crops for resources and reduce the crop yield. To kill the weeds, farmers spray the entire field with herbicides. However, the overuse of herbicides causes environmental pollution and is harmful to human health. Also, type of weeds showing herbicide resistance increase exponentially. So robots for precision weed control, which is spraying the correct herbicides to the corresponding weeds are urgently needed. Most CWR agricultural robots are giant tractors. A lot of them are expensive and then use region for weed detection, which, which means they will encounter region occlusion as plants grow taller and denser. In addition, region-based algorithms must be trained on data sets. However, there are few published crop weed data sets from realistic fields. By contrast, our robot, Sandbolt, costs about $800 and can work all day long for precision weed control in real fields. From the cameras on our Sandbolt, we collect a large realistic image data set with annotated labels. This data set is called AI Weed, which is our first contribution. Our AI weeds is the first large annotated realistic image data set with 14 most common weeds from 20 different locations. As you can see, images are taken under different weather and light conditions with noisy backgrounds. Within AI weeds, each weed has roughly 600 photos with an exception to the negative class. We then use the pre-trained mobile AI weed 2 model, a convolutional neural network from ImageNet as the feature extractor of our input image. And this is an illustration how convolution works. Also, we replaced the last layer in Mobile Navi 2 to a global average polling layer and passed the result to a fully connected layer that used sigmoid as its activation function. In this way, the probabilities of each kind of weed are calculated independently. Based on our probability threshold, we can finally output the result. For further deployment onto our comeback robot with limited computational power, we use TensorRT to eliminate unuseful nodes in the network to both distill the network and decrease the inference time. Before training the model, we pre-processed the images by flipping and resizing them. After that, we augmented the image by rotating, scaling, changing illumination conditions, and doing perspective transformation. Then we use Clearance and TensorFlow to train our model with cross-validation. We also use back training mechanism with atom optimizer and adaptable learning rate. This whole model pipeline is our second contribution. Let's see the model performance comparison. As you can see, our modified mobile NAV2 has the smallest number of parameters and thus has the shortest training and testing time. We are only losing about 5% accuracy compared to more complicated models. Finally, here comes our third contribution, real-world deployment. Here's a demo. Our robot can successfully follow the tracks in the field without crashing into the areas of the crop, and it can turn around at the corners automatically. In addition, it manages to go back to the station to charge itself after it is running out of electricity. In this part, these red boxes bound the weeds, and we can see the robot successfully stops at the locations of the weeds and spray them with herbicides. Also, the robot is not blocked by, by those weeds on its track. There are two sprayers and two rear cameras on the robot. You can see how the robot sprays the weed it detects clearly in this demo. Then there, this is our onboard mobile nav v2 result. The right corner is showing the image the robot it gets from its camera, and above it is the prediction score of the corresponding image. In conclusion, we can achieve about 90% accuracy on the board using Mobile Net V2, and we believe this is a breakthrough on precision farming in real field. Thank you.